Alright, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to spice up your edits using overlays. And I see people doing this pretty hastily, just kind of slapping overlays on there. So I'm going to kind of show you right now one method that you can now use in Final Cut to uh, motion track your overlay to your clip and really just sell the overlay a lot more. First things first here, we have our little edit we've just made. The clips are already, of course, speed ramped and they're already kind of set to the music. And I've also added some stabilization. You wanna do this before doing any overlay work or tracker work. So once you have your edit ready to go, you're just gonna select your clip, go all the way down in your inspector window to this little plus where it says tracker. And now you want to find something in your frame that's pretty contrasty. So for me here, I'm going to choose these steps. Once you've picked out where in your frame you think is going to be a good point of analysis, all you're going to do is go up to here where it says analyze and click this arrow. And just let it do its thing. And you'll kind of know if it severely messes up, like this is a pretty good track. You can tell that it's very much so going along with um, with the clip. All right, so once you've got your clip tracked, you're gonna bring in your overlay. You can use whatever overlays you want. And this is gonna apply in certain situations a bit more than others. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a couple of different examples here. First off, uh, we're gonna use this percent bar. We're gonna go ahead and switch the blend mode to screen. And then we're gonna go check this. And we're going to go over to tracker and sometimes this is a bit finicky so you kind of have to mess with it till it cooperates so um, then we're going to go ahead and click object track as the source so it knows that it's the source of uh, this was just called object track then we're going to make sure that this behavior is set to pin to tracker and that's going to basically pin it to where the clip has tracked so now you notice if we play this back, it's gonna stay nicely on the stairs like we want it. Pretty cool. And then the only thing I'm going to do here is just increase the speed of this overlay just so we can have it go to 100% right before the clip is gonna cut. So you'll notice here at the end of the clip, when we get towards the speed ramp, the track kind of isn't as good. So we're not gonna include the overlay at the end of the clip just because we wanna really sell the effect that way. So all I'm gonna do is once this little bar hits 100%, we're just gonna flicker it off. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's go on to the next shot. Once again, I'm just gonna have the clip selected at the first frame. Then I'm gonna go down to trackers. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and try and track this guy's, let's say his like mouth on this sort of mural here. And we'll click analyze. This is the kind of thing that sometimes will surprise you and work really well and other times it just won't. And we don't want it wobbly like that because if it wobbles like that too much, then your overlay is also going to be doing that. Another method of doing this that sometimes is more effective is just starting it at the end of the clip. So we're gonna give that a shot. I'm gonna start this at the end of the clip where you can really see his entire face there. And we're gonna track backwards. And you really wanna keep trying it till you can get a really nice clean track. And this one looks really, really smooth. So once again, we're gonna grab our overlay. We're gonna make any changes to our overlay that we want done first before adding the track. So I'm just gonna increase the speed of this overlay a bit just so it kind of matches the clip a bit. And that already looks pretty cool, but it's gonna look even cooler when we make it match the entire movement of the clip. So once you have your overlay looking how you want, once again, we're gonna go down to our transform tool, select tracker, click this little down arrow, make sure you have your clip below selected, the object track selected, and then pin to tracker selected. So of course, this is gonna make our overlay really small here, and in the other instance, it actually looked fine when it was on this clip. I actually liked how that one looked, but this time, we definitely wanted to take up, you know, the entire space of the whole frame kind of so we're gonna go over to our transform tool and literally just scale it up all the way kind of just got to mess with it to see like what you want but as you can see that looks pretty convincing it really looks like it's like sticking straight to him gonna mess with it just a bit more and then we'll move on to the next clip okay so after quite a bit of messing with this i think this looks decent at least for the sake of this tutorial 
All right, so after a bunch of attempts at trying to get a clean track for this clip, I decided to use this little screen here. And I think this worked really well because it's just a bright instance. Once again, this is really tough to do if you have a lot of different moving things in your clip, a lot of different things going on, changing, such as how it sort of is in a club setting. So um, normally this would work a lot better, I think, if you weren't trying to do it on a clip that was filmed in a nightclub where there's a bunch of different lights going off and uh, all kinds of different chaotic things happening. All right, so now that we have a clean track, let's try to use an overlay on this. Let's try to use this code. And uh, again, we're gonna make sure our overlay looks how we like before trying to make it go with the tracker. So 2x speed, just so that code writes a little bit quicker. Of course, we'll go ahead and put it in screen blend mode. And now we're gonna go ahead and pin this to our camera movement essentially of the clip. All right, so once you have your correct tracker selected, once again, since we tracked that little mini screen on the bottom left here, it's just gonna be like pinned to that. So we'll wanna use our transform tool to scale this up to our liking. And you'll have to scale it up quite a bit depending on what you tracked. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, you'll notice it does just jump a little bit right here, but I think for the sake of this tutorial, it looks just fine, it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab another one of these overlays from the top here, and I'm gonna go ahead and flip it to the other side. Uh, of course, change the blend mode once again, and you don't wanna just copy and paste that bottom clip because it's gonna screw things up with the tracker. So once again, we'll wanna independently grab a new one and re-add the tracker um, onto it. So last but not least, we have this little glitch overlay just to kind of close out this sequence. All right, with the track applied, you'll notice that this clip, as the other ones have, also tracks the movement of the clip underneath it. And I think that this, again, does a really good job of selling the authenticity of the overlay. All right, that's gonna be it for today's tutorial. If you've enjoyed this at any point, please drop a like for the algorithm and consider subscribing to my channel if you wanna see more content just like this. Comment down below, let me know what sorts of tutorials you'd like to see next. Thanks again for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.